I was wrong about ChatGPT5, guys. This video is going to show you how to use Claude Router, which allows you to use any LLM model inside Claude Code. But more importantly, I'm going to show you guys just how good GPT-5 actually is. Now, this is a very simple system. All you have to do is Control-A, Control-C on GitHub, and then basically put it into um, a conversation with Claude Code. Let it play around a little bit, give it an open AI key, etc., etc. Now, one thing that I have to say is when you've done this, now, if I write uh, what model is this, right, it's going to say that it's Opus 4.1. Okay, so let's just see. So what model is this? So as I said, it would say it was Opus 4.1. However, I have downloaded the uh, my usage of um, board, uh, sorry, of OpenAI, right? I'll show you this. So cost data, just today, 2908, 2908, that's today. And then we'll download this and we'll hit the download button here. Now we should see that this number here has gone from four to five because we've had one additional conversation or one additional prompt sent to um, open AI. So let's see, this will be irrefutable proof that we're using, uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to put the model filter. So group by, it's this one here. So group by, and then just model. And then we'll do this again. So download. Now this time we should see that there have been five requests to open AI. Six, whatever. No, that'll do. So that's proof that despite the fact that it thinks it's Claude 4.1, that's just because in the Claude Code system prompt, it uses, it, it says whichever model you have selected here, right? So I have model Opus. So obviously it thinks it's Opus, but it's not. Okay. So I'm going to go to my school community here. I'm just going to grab the prompt and I'm going to set everything up here. Um, so we're inside GPT-5 Claude Code, the file name. So I'll just grab my. And let's go to all my prompts and workflows, which is where I keep all my prompts and workflows. And we'll just set this up. So let's do control thingy and we'll do this. And we'll put this here. So NPX create. I think I'll skip the images. Oh, maybe not. Uh, actually, let's do this again, but inside my app. There we go. That'll put it inside my app. We will add images just because it just kind of shows the power of GPT-5, which is, in my opinion, the main power it actually has is the UI UX, right? So we've got images here. These are just SVGs that were created another time by um, by ChatGPT, but we'll just grab these here and we'll open this up. So what is this called? It's called GPT-5 Claude. So we'll open this up. And we'll paste this inside my app. We'll create a new folder called public. And we'll put that here, which are the images, right? Okay, so from here, this should be finished in just a second. Okay, and then from here, we can run CCR, which is Claude Code Router or Router, and then Code. And we'll hit Enter here. Service not running, running service, so that will start the service up. And then we will grab the prompt here. We'll stick the prompt in here. Can we do dangerously skip permissions with this? Dangerously skip permissions. Let's try. Looks like that might have worked. Uh, yep. Bypass permissions on. There we go. And then we'll put the prompt. And then I'm going to go to the pharmacy because I'm on holiday. And uh, my fiance needs me to run to the pharmacy. So I'm going to leave this to run, guys. And I'll be back in 10, 15, 20 minutes. And we'll have a look just how good GPT-5 actually is with the best code debt, like the AI dev system in the world, mixed with potentially the best model in the world, especially for front end dev. So we'll let this run. Let's just see if it initially can find the actual code that it should be coding inside, which I assume it will. And then once it does, we will let it run. Okay, so we can see here it's found my app uh, package dot JSON. So it knows what it's doing. I will say immediately that this is a lot slower, but slower and doesn't necessarily mean worse, right guys? I'll let this run. I'm gonna put my laptop in and we'll be back in 10, 15, 20 minutes. Okay guys, so this is the final result. Now I'm not, I don't want you to focus on the view here and the, the, the colors and everything are all a bit messed up, but it has perfectly created the skeleton of this website with every single page working. 
Now, the look and feel is not fantastic. Sorry if I'm out of breath. I just basically ran to the pharmacy and back. Now, the look and feel, not great. Like, we can all agree, the look and feel is not great. However, this is, I think, the first time I've ever seen a one-shot website where every single thing works, every single button, everything. Look and feel, I'm definitely disappointed. I was expecting better, but just, I mean, with everything working, the look and feel can come after, right? That's the beautiful thing about it. Looks like all the SEO has been done, weddings with drivers in Aversa. So like, it's built the skeleton beautifully. Now, all we need to do is find a way to get this to one shot, beautiful front end as well. And I would say this is the best piece of coding software that you can use, Claude Code with GPT-5. I was definitely wrong about GPT-5 when I said it wasn't that good. It is that good. Um, I just wish it had really gone to town with the front end because I don't know, I'm, I was expecting a lot better than this. Even this is the first time ever that I've seen something get Cava di Terini correct because normally it tries to put an apostrophe here, which is obviously, oh, sorry, not here. Oh yeah, there, which obviously is not possible uh, in a URL, obviously. Uh, you can't just put an apostrophe as far as I know. Uh, so that normally is what gets, gets messed up with this. Overall, this is the most complete build I've ever seen in terms of everything working. There's 150 pages here. It built it very, very quickly as well. Every single button works, everything works. Very, very impressive stuff, but the front end is not great. So if we can improve the front end, if we can mix the front end of GPT-5 with the solid coding of Claude Code together, that's where we're gonna really start to blossom, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. And then just quick shout out before we finish to the sponsor of this video, which is me, uh, SEO Grove. Check it out, SEO Grove, guys. This is your last chance to join the waitlist before we put the price up. It's currently $1 to join the waitlist plus $99 a month after that. The price will be going up to $4.99 a month very, very soon. Get it while you can, guys. I'll leave the video there. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, as usual, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.